Hi guys, I'm Barbara and this is Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. And guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or anything else, you'll find it in the description box. So let's get into this. This is for singles. Who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you, singles? Who's coming towards you? Okay, <laughs> so you got round and round and casual dating. You keep going round and round the merry-go-round. I feel like you keep repeating yourself over and over and over. You keep ending up with the same, same old shit different day. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. And guys, please excuse the noise in the background. That's our gardener, so... It's just something we got to live with. So let's get into this. Tell me about, tell me about cancer singles. Who's coming towards cancer? So I feel like you're trying to end the cycle. You kind of guarded, you're kind of guarded and defensive. This is like you kind of having your guard up, um, trying to end a cycle here. Um, it's, I, I almost feel like, you know, this isn't, I, I don't feel like this is a partnership. I feel like this is just like you're dating. This is somebody you're going out with and you're single here. You're very single. You may, you may uh, be very traditional. You may be very traditional and you're trying to move forward here. Like you, you want to be in a relationship possibly. But you feel like there's no equal give and take and there's a burden here. You're waiting for equal give and take. You're waiting for something that's going to balance out. You're, you may be obsessed about taking that leap. You also could be with that two of cups. Like you, you may be guarded about having a partner or, or maybe the people that you're meeting. I feel like this is who you're dating with this two of cups. This is why you're single. And, and I feel like why you're guarded is that you're kind of traditional and you want to move forward. Now, typical cancer energy, they're very home, homebound, not homebound, but they like to be at home. Their, their home is their castle. Um, the, you know, me being a cancer, um, traditional so traditional, um, not like, yeah, I'm definitely, you know, in the mindset, it, you're way different than like an Aries or, um, somebody who's outgoing, wanting to be out and about all the time. That's really not, not a cancer. Cancers are happy in their crab shell. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people like to get out. It depends on what your placements are, right? I feel like you go out with friends. You, you like to go out with friends every once in a while, but it's not something that you do on a, on a break all the time, right? You like to go out with friends and talk. You guys like to have a drink, but you know that there's, you talk about all the deception. When you go out with friends, it's like you see all the deception that's out there, all the, all the lies and the cheating and all the, all the game playing and all the nonsense. You see it out there. I feel like you're kind of traditional. Like you would be happy in a family setting, right? You'd be the happy wife, happy life kind of thing. Um, now, some people don't want that relationship. Some people are like, hey, I'm, I'm better off being by myself. I don't even want to date. You may be dealing, you may end up meeting a uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And you may end up moving forward with this person. So I feel like right now the dating scene has been kind of a, you're round and round, casual dating, same old, same old, same old, right? There's a choice. They're all players, right? And you're going to cut them out, right? They're not fitting the mold. They're not fitting the mold for you. So let's see what we got. Actually, I can use this one to clarify. Tell me about you trying to close out of a cycle of being so guarded, possibly. You're very solid, stable, dependable, grounded energy. 
in the past, you know, this is why you're single. It might have to do with the, the people, the type of person you're attracting. Um, some of you just need to remove the asshole magnet from the forehead. You know, somebody, sometimes we just attract a certain type of person. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, is we need to attract something that's, that's someone who's going to be on our level versus somebody we need to fix, so to speak, right? The harsh truth about the past is that the partnerships haven't been what you've been wanting. You know, you keep going round and round that maypole, so to speak. You may be very traditional and wanting to move forward. You want to walk away from things that don't serve you because, and it's almost like you're using your intuition here. You have to use your intuition to move forward. You are in Empress energy here. This could be about you, you know, this also could be about fertility. It also could be like maybe your clock's ticking. You may feel like your clock's ticking. you got to use your intuition here and walk away from things that don't serve you. I feel like you are traditional and you want to move forward in a specific way. Now, <clears throat> I don't know why I'm seeing this right now, but somebody who always has a list of things that people have to meet that criteria. You got to stay away from that because I feel like that's why they're saying there's no equal give and take and it's a burden. Well, it's a burden and you want justice and, and the justice might be for you to go with the flow. Just let things unfold naturally. Because if you're too dead set on getting a specific thing, if the universe has something else in store for you, you're limiting your blessings. You're blocking your own blessings by you having a specific standard that you have to uphold. And I don't feel like this is for everybody. I feel like there's a few people that need to hear this because this is like who's coming towards you and what you need to know. But I feel like you gotta, you've got to cut that list down. They don't have to be six foot five and have six figures. you got to look at it this way. Um, sometimes it's better to be with somebody who's hardworking and you know will always run the distance versus being with somebody who may be too full of themselves and will cheat on you constantly. So you have to look at it from a different perspective. You know, everybody wants that same thing. And if that person is feeling like they're a commodity, then you're just one of many. Okay. You're not going to get this person to settle down and be the, the husband that you're looking for or whatever this is. This is somebody who's going to constantly, uh, be out looking for bigger, better, best, right? So it's almost like you're waiting for somebody who's going to find you. There's some balance. You need to be patiently waiting here for what, what is meant for you. And I feel like you're, you've, you've been patient and you've been patiently waiting. I feel like you, you're patiently waiting because you're trapped in your head thinking that like, this is for somebody too, who may compare themselves to other people. Like you have what it takes. You are enough. And you know, if you, if you're patiently waiting, but you are always in your head about the truth, about the queen of wands, the passionate, pretty, this and that, like you're not on her level. Well, honey, most of it was purchased. Okay. The boobs, the eyelashes, the lips, it was all purchased, you know, um, the, the, the BBL or whatever you want to call it. it. At the end of the day, don't compare yourself to other people. The one that's meant for you is going to find you. I don't know why they're showing me all this, but they are. Um, you may be obsessed with, with taking that leap or even moving on and just blocking it. It's almost like I feel like you're giving up, leaving it out in the cold. You know, like you're tired of the same old shit different day. You are. You go out with your friends and you talk and you, you have fun. You're out with friends and buddies. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people around you that you just like, you're communicating about the deception, about all the lies that you're hearing and all of the drama and all the, 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 the BS that you're getting when you're dating somebody or you went out with so-and-so and this is what this person did. And this is, it, it's almost like you're manifesting 
Sorry about the loud noise, guys, the gardener. You're manifesting a tower moment here. Because what you, what you focus on is what's coming towards you. So if you're still focusing on their deception and all the nonsense and the mind games, whatever it is, you're manifesting a tower moment for yourself. You got to work on your wish fulfillment. You've got to, you got to start manifesting what you want, not what you don't want. When you focus on what you don't want, you're going to end up bringing that to you. That's exactly what you're going to do. It's the opposite of what you think. If you're focusing on what you really want, that blessing is going to come to you. So don't focus on so much what you don't want. Focus on what you, what you do want. And focus on it like you already have it, right? Because I do see a new beginning coming towards you. And somebody who's, who's going to be that 10 of cups for you, somebody who's going to give you everything that you could want or need. I don't feel like there's mind games or manipulation here. Okay. So I feel like what's going to happen is you're going to have somebody that you're going to meet. That's going to, that one, that they're going to want to take it to a higher level. They're, they're going to want to take it to a commitment with you. Why? Right? With this 10 of cups, King of swords, someone who's very strategic about offering you a new beginning and moving forward, but you may feel like they're, they're handing you a line. Like they've got some strong manipulation here. They don't, they don't. This is, this is somebody who doesn't, and you feel like you're at a crossroads on whether or not they're a player. Um, I feel like you've been through so many bad dates that when you have a good one, you don't know what to expect out of it. You keep, keep thinking you're going to get heartbroke, but I feel like if, once you watch this, you'll, once you, once you open your eyes and see, there will be an offer coming to you. See, it's been a long time coming and it's finally it, it, your judgment is going to change. You're going to end up being the queen of swords to the king of swords, a true match, right? You're going to end up finding your true match. Don't focus on what you, you don't want. Focus on what you do want. That way you bring what your, your blessings to you and not bring the opposite of what you want. You got to let go of the notion of you having to stick to a specific, you know, set of rules on who you date and, and what you want. Um, also be patient. Um, I feel like don't be trapped in your head comparing yourself to other people because you're perfect just the way you are head to toe no matter what, right? And somebody is going to love you just for that. But I feel like you got to eliminate all the BS around you. And that's what they're trying to tell you. You do have love coming in, guys. You do. You've been round and round that may pull too many times casually dating that you don't know which ends up. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed day.